When drugs are the cause of organ morphogenesis errors like malformation, these drugs are called teratogens and are a commonly tested subject for step 1. Embryos are most susceptible to teratogens from week 3 to week 8 because this is when most organogenesis occurs. Some teratogens are actually more damaging before week 3, but damage caused at such an early stage is often fatal, so a malformed baby will never be born. After week 8, the growth and function of organs can still be affected by teratogens, but it is less severe and often reversible. This slide summarizes some of the most high-yield drugs and their effects. I won't read all of these to you. Alcohol is the most common cause of birth defects and mental retardation due to its widespread use. We'll cover fetal alcohol syndrome in depth. The first thing you'll notice about someone with fetal alcohol syndrome is the facial abnormalities. These patients have small eyes with folds of skin at the nasal corners, a low nasal bridge, which makes their nose appear shorter, and a thin upper lip with no groove between the upper lip and the nose. They will also usually be small for their age due to prenatal and postnatal developmental retardation and also have mild mental retardation and other neurological symptoms such as hearing loss, poor eye-hand coordination, and epilepsy. Patients are at increased risk for holoprosencephaly, in which the forebrain of the embryo does not form two separate hemispheres. Heart and lung fistulas are more common as well. Statistically, babies born to mothers who consume only one drink per day are at no increased risk for fetal alcohol syndrome, while alcoholics or heavy drinkers, such as those who consume five or more alcoholic beverages in one night, are at risk. It isn't completely understood how alcohol causes these symptoms, but it may have something to do with inhibition of cell migration. 